folks, another sad day in the lives of blacks tarnished by the lives of damned animals. Alabama State University, cafeteria fight. Young lady wanted to know my opinion. It's simple. A bunch of goddamn animals. t out. Greetings, folks. t back again for a late night drive time on my way to a little jam need for it to go this late. I want to get started this late, but left some cables at the home. I had to drive all the way back. 60 mile, about 65 mile round trip. At any rate, you saw the title of the video. If it were me, because Somalia harbors these pirates and won't do anything to deal with the situation, and notice, same thing like what I say about here in America, in the black community. We need to clean up our own community. I am a proponent of putting bums and thugs who try to take unrighteously from those who have earned it, their lives, their property, their freedom, their dignity. I am a proponent of dirt naps gun on the ship. If I were president, I would say to the Somalis, uh, the Somalis, wherever you harbor these pirates, I will blow that part of the land off the map, thus uh, reducing your habitable uh, habitats. <laughs> but, you know, I know folk won't want to do that. But here's what they ought to do. Here's an idea, and I'm going to close. I don't know if you guys have watched Bait Car. Well, they ought to do bait boats. Okay. <laughs> Put a boat out there, a uh, yacht with uh, dummies on it, and with, with remote cameras, let them board, monitor them from submarines, and as soon as they get on board, blow the boat the hell out of the water. That's it, folks. Bait boats. For the Somali Pirates. Team out out till next time. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Team out drive time. Today's message Black people sometimes just make me sick. I try to lighten the load of every now and again by sending out a little humor. You know, add a little levity to the situation because. Life is very short. But I spent uh, the better part of the morning looking at a lot of the videos that have been sent to me by various people of various videos. And here is what I'm finding that I think is just so disturbing. It is the issues that blacks have with themselves and how they attack each other. Motherfucker this. Motherfucker that. Nigga this. Nigga that. Them bitches this. Them bitches that. Them hate niggas this. Them hate niggas that. And yet, they all claim they trying to reach out and help the black community. How in the hell do they think that's helping anybody? Sowing the seeds of hate, discord, division. So I tried to do a little research. Now, I found racist white folks that had uh, videos on YouTube. Those right racist white folks, you know who they talking about? They talking about just black people. And every now and then they might talk about some... Uh, nigger hating white folk you need to get back on our program and protect our own uh, 
but for the most part they're all about their people all about doing the right thing for their race but you black people y'all I differences on the Moors and Israelites and I mean it is just pathetic look whatever a person chooses to believe in for their faith let them if a person is a Jew, a Muslim, an Israelite, a Christian, or an atheist, if they believe that to rape, steal, and kill is a bad thing, then that's a good thing. It don't matter what the justification behind them not believing that those things are wrong. The fact that they believe that they are wrong is a good thing. So we should not continue to divide and separate ourselves because of our religious beliefs and then these brothers that put out these videos attacking black women wholesale black holes ain't shit excuse me for using this language but I I, I I hate to do it but I'm just I just want you to understand and realize how pathetic that it is and most of those black men probably putting out those bad videos have failed to do one thing and Michael Jackson painted it perfect perfectly for me when he did the song take a look at the man in the mirror you the one chose those sorry ass women why are you mad all black women are not sorry all of them aren't out there with five kids by six different men not knowing who is the father for one of the children and then the the sisters that talk about the brothers you chose that sorry ass man you the one laid down and had five illegitimate children by him you're the ones who dropped out of school. You're the ones who can't find a job. Why are you blaming the whole world for your own choices? And then when I call this out, people attack me and call me an Uncle Tom. Listen, I've made those bad choices. Most of the stuff that I've talked about, I have experienced. And that's why I talk about it, because I found a better way. And it's called making better choices. How do you make better choices? By exercising better wisdom and by obtaining as much knowledge as you can. Hell, I'm 48 years old and still in school trying to learn all that I can so that I can leave an inheritance for my children so that they may leave one for theirs and their children theirs. I'm trying to restore back what was taken from me. And it doesn't matter how it got taken. The fact of the matter is that it was taken. You young black people, you have a tool at your disposal. Stop beefing with each other. Stop hating on each other because I happen to be friends with white folks. So what? Stop hating on me because I happen to be a Christian. And I'm saying stop doing this amongst all of you, between yourselves. If somebody doesn't believe in the same God that you do, there's no reason to hate them. If somebody is a different color of skin, there's no reason to hate them. If somebody has made mistakes in the past and they're on a better path now, there's no reason to hate them. You have YouTube, this magnificent tube, YouTube, magnific magnificent YouTube, the ability to spread a positive message instead of a message of hate and dissent. dissent. Bridge the gap between you and stop with the filthy language. You want black people to learn, then let it be a place where the kids can come and hear something positive. Why do you think YouTube is moving towards censorship? They want it, it, Look, I have to block fools that get on my page and leave curse words and, and tell me all types of stuff. Why? Because I want my children to hear my messages so that they may learn. I'll ask any one of you, would you want your child going around spewing the filth that you spew on YouTube? Would you? Well, there are kids out there. Be an example for a change. Come together. Stop hating each other. Put aside your differences. A lot of people even complain about Martin Luther King, talking about he was part of the Illuminati. I know one damn thing. He didn't have YouTube. 
or the internet. He had marches, gathering together with people in their homes, their living rooms, telephone, hotel lobbies, and churches to make a difference. And he sure as hell didn't speak that way. And the Civil Rights Bill and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 that undid the Compromise of 1877, if it wasn't for them getting together, getting together, they could not have overcome those things. So, young black folks, stop it, please. Come together. Find a way to overlook your differences and find the things that you have in common. We have bigger fish to fry. The crime in our neighborhoods and this code of silence. I'm going to tell you straight up. Somebody comes through my front door home invasion. Ain't nobody going to know what happened to them but the report that I give to the police. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm supposed to be a Christian. I'm telling you something. The madness has got to stop. And the only people in a position to stop the madness that's going on in the black community, if you think that the white man is keeping us down so much, then let's get together in the black community and get kids to stop killing each other. Get kids to start staying in school. Get kids to stop having premarital sex and having children out of wedlock. Let's start doing some of those things and stop hating on each other because we might be different or because we had a bad experience in life. Jesus. Yeah, I said the name of Jesus gonna hate me for that too T my drive time greetings folks T my <laughs> I'm gonna make a little history you already saw the title white people clean up their own messes the reason I say I'm making history I am responding to snups <laughs> A comment that he made to a close friend of mine who happens to be a white guy. How about that? Um, I need to make something clear. First off, I never share any videos. Uh, I never ask people to subscribe. I'm not on YouTube for subscriptions or views. I have only been interested in people that were seeking a way out and up. Um, formulas, the unique thing about formulas, if you apply them correctly each and every time, the result will be the same each and every time. You might have to do it more than once to get it right, but eventually uh, you'll get it right. That being said, color or race does not have to stop you now you know where am I going with this therefore I don't put other people's uh, names in my videos I don't put them in, in in my tags because I don't need nobody else to help me do what I do all I need is God you understand where I'm coming from uh, with the exception of needing God, I'm self-sufficient. So I don't ride another man's job to get or accomplish what I want to accomplish. That's point number one. Point number two, I don't give a damn about racists. I said that in the very beginning of my videos. So no, I don't talk about the KKK. I don't talk about racist white Caucasians because I don't give a damn about them. They ain't going to stop me. They don't stop me. Now, if y'all want to focus on them, go right ahead. Be my guest. There's a whole bunch of fools out there want to talk about racist white Caucasians. I just ain't one of them. Point number three, I address the black community. There is where my primary... <laughs> Thinking about a deep sleep. 